ladies and gentlemen, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher. Bill's guest tonight, Loveline's Adam Carolla, actress Michelle Phillips, California representative Maxine Waters, and syndicated columnist Maggie Gallagher. Thank you very much, delegates. Wow, look at that, I tell you. <laughs> I know. It's convention fever has gripped you. Hasn't it? Have you, did you watch the convention? The Republican convention started tonight? No, of course you didn't. No one did. I had to. It's my job. And I resented it. Uh, I tell you, I, but if you didn't see it and you didn't, let me tell you, it looked like the WB. I have never seen so many... I'm, it was an endless parade of black people. I'm telling you, it was... I'm not kidding. I, it was like Showtime at the Apollo. There was... Blacks, Hispanics, more blacks, Native Americans, more blacks. You wouldn't have even known it was a Republican convention except for all the rich white guys in the audience checking for their wallets. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, they had Asians, they had unwed mothers, they had a black choir, they had an R&B group with dancers. Finally, thank God, Laura Bush came out to remind everyone that, yes, it's still the party of boring white people. <laughs> That's okay. And then uh, Colin Powell came out and uh, they voted him out of the house. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, the, uh, the theme of tonight was uh, leave, no child, leave no child behind. Uh, and uh, apparently the Republicans were touting that they were very successful in a, uh, attacking attention deficit disorder because it turns out that kicking kids off the of welfare and cutting the school lunches, that does get their attention. That, <laughs> yes, the, the leave no child behind theme is very close to the heart of uh, George W. Bush because you know when he was a child he was left behind twice. Uh, once in third grade and once in the eighth grade. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, meet our panel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very, very noble attempt to get those jokes. Let's meet our panel. Our first, a syndicated columnist, author, and director of the Marriage Program at the Institute for American Values, Maggie Gallagher. Maggie. Hey. How you doing? Thanks for coming back. Uh, you have to raise that up. I, from, uh, there you go. The congressman woman from California's 35th District, Representative Maxine Waters, is right over here. Congresswoman, it's been too long, I know. It's always a pleasure to see you. Sit right there. A fine actress and one of People Magazine's sexiest grandmas. Her movie, March, premieres next year from the Mamas and the Papas. Michelle Phillips is right over here. How are you, Kitten? <laughs> and a very funny comedian. He is one of the 12 stars of MTV's Love Line and Comedy Central's The Man Show. Our pal Adam Carolla is right on there. Adam, how are you? It was a funny show last night with the beach. Oh, thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah. All right. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, if you probably didn't see this convention, but uh, show the tape of the gospel people singing, because this is, uh, if you saw this, uh, no, is that the, there's the Republican convention we all remember and love. A lot of black people jumping around on the stage. Yeah, nothing says Republican more than that. Anyway, um, it looked, it reminded me of a basketball game. The entire audience was white. Everyone on the stage was black. Every black Republican in the United States was there. I'm telling you, it just was an endless parade of black people. And it just strikes me as shameless stunt Well, casting. you know, the Republican Party has always been the party of the minorities. And they're just trying to, you know... Well, it actually was for about 60 years before the Democratic Party took over that role. But, but would you prefer it if they had only white people up on stage? I mean, the, the, I think that, that uh, Bush is obviously very serious about making an outreach to different communities that haven't voted Republican in the past. And what's wrong with that? Why is that... Shameless. Wouldn't it be really? Because it's insincere. Don't tell that to Colin Powell. Do you think well, someone's manipulating the general? He's not black. It's... 
I don't know. I, I think that's a... It, it's that's shameless amazing. because it's insincere. It's from the same guy right. who went and spoke at Bob Jones University. That's why it's shameless, because it's a lie. I, I don't that's think right. it's a lie. I think it, it is a lie. I think... Yeah. I, I think they just piled it on a little too thick. They should have done it in layers. Yeah. You know, you know maybe have, just have, like, Cool and the Gang this year. And then next year you get the whole gospel choir in there. And you, you build up to it. It was just wham, black There's... all of a sudden. Yeah, there's, there's two kinds of people in the audience. One is like an all-white lady going, What the hell is that? And am I safe? And then there's another one is the person trying to boogie. That's really sad. That's, that's pathetic. That's, you know. Really. Re Republicans should just be who they are. Well, you There's want nothing them to be more. a caricature of what you'd like them to be. I mean, you want a candidate who's easy to defeat and easy to caricature and who you no. can call, like, racist and prejudiced and uninterested in African Americans no. and minorities. But, but, but and George Bush is making a serious effort to take his ideas that he believes in and to take them to all different kinds of people in America. And I really don't think that there's anything shameful about that. But that's where you guys are supposed to apply. What's amazing <laughs> is that they would think anybody would believe that. That's absolutely well, do you think amazing. Colin Powell doesn't believe it? Do you well, think that, that you doesn't know? matter. I, I, it what does matter. The thing is, is the, that yeah. you have all of this play acting. And you have the staging, Look at, and you have this patronizing, under and George they Bush. really Whoa, believe the that Americans believe that. I mean, that's what's so sad about you it. You know, I think George Bush is very serious about education. In Texas, he hasn't been able to close the gap between minorities and those of higher family backgrounds, higher uh, educational backgrounds. But it, Texas kids, minority kids but in Texas are doing better than in just about any other state in well, the country. And, 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 and then he's serious about it. Serious about. Well, and Maggie, then he chooses a vice president, uh, who, who, uh, a candidate, who opposed Head Start funding, and George Bush says that he agrees with oh, every yeah. political move that, that Cheney and has ever made. And voted against releasing Nelson Mandela from prison. Yeah, really. <laughs> Not exactly a See, those are, black you know, really, friendly those are, those move those there. <laughs> that, I, I, I mean... Right. He did, he did, unfortunately, the Congress... He wasn't dealing did... crack. He was in for political things. Right. right? <laughs> oh, I didn't know Mandela. why he was in. <laughs> you, know, but you know Bill. <laughs> He's from Washington, right? Where's he from? You know, you're thinking of Marion Barrett. Oh, Marion Barrett, right. right, right. <laughs> That's right. Mandela uh, was the fellow in South Africa. He's the pre right. He was the president recently. Going over there, yeah. yeah. And actually, the U.S. Congress oh, yeah. was not even, but, didn't imprison him and what, was not responsible Maggie, what for releasing him. What is wrong with a party saying, you know what, we're for rich white people? I, I don't think there's anything wrong. We have a system well, of it, advocacy. I think the Democrats, like yourself, would really like it if the well, Republican Party I'm said that. I'm not a Democrat. Oh, okay, for, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I libertarian, think which is what Republicans used to be. Is Before, that the party for rich white people like yourself? No, that's the party for, who wants government out of our lives, which the Republicans gave up on, which I, is why I don't, I don't like the I Republicans. Don't know. I, just, I, I think that, that, it's, uh, <clears throat> that George Bush is taking a lot of very innovative positions He's obviously very serious. <laughs> he on. is. Oh, oh he is actually. Too. I'll yeah, give let you me tell you, innovative. Screw kids. Screw reading. <laughs> yeah, that's innovative. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break because we're live tonight. So I closer to the Democrat. I, I, I think he explained it very well, and I think it's kind of demeaning for people to say either that he's, you know, I, I think that Colin Powell has lived the African American experience in this country, and obviously most African Americans are not Republicans, but he is one, and I think he has said that, the, the, that he believes the Republican Party defends the national interest and stands for the national interest better, and a strong defense. The national defense. interest, that's a little vague. Well, I don't think that when you've been... What is the national interest? Well, I think that when you're a general... What, you, what does that mean? When you're a general who has... for army. That, no. that means kicking well, other I, countries' asses. I I'm think fine with that. <laughs> it is. Right. I think that in his speech, in, I, I believe that in his speech tonight, he, he was uh, saying that he knew that George W. was going to be more like Reagan and pour millions and trillions of dollars into our defense system. Right. And that's what a good general 
wants is for right. uh, trillions of dollars to be sent, spent but on military. He wants to have any country. real enemies anymore. Ah, uh, China. Well. That's where you're wrong, sister. Yeah. <laughs> We're trading with China. Those Chinamen are creeping across the border, you know. <laughs> they yeah, swim that river in Texas. Mm -hmm. Oh, look around. They're all around us. Yeah. You know, the, the and they're hard to get hold of, because they're little. They're, uh, <laughs> and they're all greased up with that Kung Pao chicken. And you can't grab those Chinamen. <laughs> we got to keep an eye on them. Oh, boy. And I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm told uh, that he was a little preachy about parents accepting responsibility for the children mm. and talking to the children more. And you know what I've learned? I've learned that most parents want to be good parents, and most parents do the best they can for their children. What parents need in America is a little bit of help, a little bit of assistance. We need more counselors in the schools. We need more Head Start programs. Uh, wait, 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 this idea, this idea of yeah. preaching at at, at I'm with her on this one, and talking yeah. about yeah. and talking about um, you know Par parents, you you you're not doing as well as you why, could be why doing. Why do parents need help in this era when parents in well, my think, parents' yeah. era didn't need so much help? How come they were able to get through it? Well, when they had to fight a real war and a real depression, well, how come they were able to do it without the government? Because and these parents need the government. Well, let me tell you why I think. This is a much more complicated society. Children are exposed to a hell of a lot more. And I do believe that parents who are working, uh, many households have two parents that are working. It wouldn't hurt to have a little help at school. It wouldn't hurt to have a little counseling at school. Right. It, it, wouldn't ha it wouldn't hurt to have after it. school. Oh. I don't, I don't. First off. No, wait. No, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to say Go that ahead. it wouldn't hurt at all to have after-school programs That's right. uh, where we, we used to have parents in the home after school. We don't anymore. We have so many latchkey children. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to have counselors. It wouldn't but, hurt you know, to have classes, art, music. It wouldn't hurt to have any of those things anymore because they're all being cut. Right, right. It wouldn't but, hurt to have child care, you know schools that just that preach to parents. About their well, their my Chinaman riff got a bigger yeah. Uh, yeah, round of right. applause, by the way. But this, let me say this, and yeah. I, I think this is, is the it, point is that it. they missed, and Powell missed it, and everyone missed it, which is stop having so many. Yeah. Yeah. What I we agree missed. with you more. Have no two man. kids, you know, two kids, and call it a life. Adam, Don't have Adam, eighteen kids. You know that the at, we're now having less than two children per family. Good, that's right. So this is not the one problem. Kid, we're not one having two families. One of course, we're not even, I'm but with you don't you. understand. We the Republicans understand. don't believe in birth control or choice. Right, right. That's, that's right. right. They, they, they don't that, believe right. in it, so you can't you can't talk about not have all the right. kids. They say, but sorry, we can't help you. The problem is we have too many kids, and I don't want to be associated with a party that thinks the problem in America is there are too many children. Well, I do think you the think problem that, is. Do, do you think that? that we should be living in a society where a woman cannot have an abortion on demand? Yes. Do you think a woman should not be able to have an abortion yes. if she's raped? Uh, my personal opinion? In your personal yeah, opinion. My personal opinion is that it's a human life and that we need to protect it. Well, well you're, that's, that's ridiculous. Well, you know what? let me just say this. Well, you the know women what? in America have decided you, you know what? that the they want America... to be able to make a decision it's... about their bodies. They don't want exactly. you. And Wait, that, on the Maggie, one hand, you get the last word it, before it, I got to go to the break. I see a lot of young men in the audience applauding this point of view. If you look <laughs> in the polls, in fact, women in America are more pro-life than men are in America. I don't know what and poll you're you in. I don't know what poll you're in. I'm you moving against it in a pro-life direction. I don't know what poll you're in. You've seen a lot of Maggie, polls. Maggie, that's not... <laughs> I respect... This is, this is I, you know what, percentage I re point change. No, I always... No. Women have decided no, they want to be in Hollywood of their lives. No, they don't want no, that. No. Women are not going to take it them from George Bush or anybody else telling them simple. what they can no. or cannot what, do with their body. What about when the baby is in the process of being born? Would you be willing to protect it then? Okay. Right, let's no, no, get in. Love it like a point. seal. It yeah, I don't want to get into that. The young man's point of view. And Maggie, you know, I totally...
respect the point of view of the pro-lifers, even though I am not one of them. But when they start with that fundamental lie that the, um, the nation is behind you, it is not. The no, nation is pro-choice. And that is not changing. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to stick to the reality. No. And the reality, you yeah. know what? And it may turn out that we all get to heaven or hell, and you might be right. But no, the reality on the ground I'm, is I'm that not, America not is not pro-life, it's pro-choice. Are, and, are and, we pro-life no, or pro-choice? Okay, pro they already said that. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Listen, oh, okay. listen, they're stoned and confused. But I, here's, here's I, I, my beef. You know what, here's, I'll give you one beef at this. Adam, can you hold can I hold it? No, you, we're going live. Come on. Abortion <laughs> is such, abortion is such a now. tragedy. What about the morning after pill? How come people? How come you people aren't getting behind what this? People, I'm standing here talking about. Nobody what I will get. The Republicans um, will not get behind this get morning behind, after let's, pill let's and will eliminate let's abortion. You know, with the morning after. You don't want to eliminate abortion. Morning. You want to preach. I don't That's right. different. <laughs> right, I got to take a commercial. We'll be right back. All right, we were talking about Republicans, and we got into abortion, which is sort of their crazy ant in the attic, because it's the subject they don't really want to go to, because I know you think that the the nation is behind... I'm happy to go with it, Bill. Let's, let's go with it. Okay, and I'm, <laughs> I always admire you for coming on here. Once again, the deck stacked <laughs> against you. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the truth is that there's two kinds of Republicans. One that really mean it about abortion, and one that talk the talk, but really they want to get elected. And politicians have been known to do that. That's exactly. Yeah. And they're saying basically, look, like Reagan. I mean, Reagan talked a lot about abortion. They never made a move about Roe v. Wade because they didn't want to upset the apple cart. And, I mean, George Bush, I think, is in that camp. This, this Republican group wants to get a winner. They don't care what he thinks. What he thinks is about is like what his past is. We don't know. Maybe he did blow. Maybe Maybe he's an idiot, maybe he's not, but basically he's George Bush's kid and he could win. I don't know. That's really what's good about him. Right? Yeah, it's not what he thinks. It's, 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 certainly not, it's certainly not that he's an intellectual uh, or, or compassionate person, uh, a man who has... Uh, uh, who is absolutely certain that 126 men that he has executed in the state of Texas and women uh, we're all guilty as charged. People uh, who have faith that murderers are guilty are somehow not compassionate, Michelle? I, I think, think that's that, a little I unusual think that it's, I think that, 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 that the Texas... How do you move from abortion? What shall we I, go? I, I think but abortion the, and the death penalty are so much connected. Are, because they certainly because are. There are people here who are just so hate Republicans so much that they don't believe that they have no. normal human emotions. Like, George Bush can't be compassionate. He can't actually mean that he'd well, like why to help the children of America. someone says that they hate um, George Bush? I mean, how did you jump to that conclusion? When our land because deals go... The compassionate conservatism yeah. is... It's, it's like a dodge. It's like he's not really compassionate. No, now, what's I, your attitude? Well, first of all, the, phrase, been, the phraseology I was, coined, a very, was coined to try and make people believe something. Right. Yeah, that's, 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 that's all that's all about. Because it's a big term. Yeah, I don't, it, it doesn't... Compassionate about. It does. No, he's compassionate it. about education. No, he's not. He has the worst record in education. No, he doesn't. Yes, he actually does. has an act. But what? No, he does. I'm sorry. I'm going to back me up on this. No, I'm not going to back you up. What about the Rand Corporation study, which Laura Bush why? referred to? Uh, that was one of our choices, yeah. seriously. <laughs> I mean, we got Gore and, no, you know, Ralph Nader. You know we can... We're screwed. And you know what else? I'll tell you. Uh, listen. I'll tell you I'm thing. going to Canada. Who's with me? All the actions in Canada okay, okay. now, anyway. We Let's have one there. more thing. I got that Adam, high octane yeah. here. He yeah. has made a cesspool environmentally right. out of the state of Texas. Don't say cesspool because I got to go to a commercial. I want people <laughs> in a good mood.